They're ready in Malibu as number 19 Gonzaga is in Firestone Fieldhouse tonight to take on the hometown Pepperdine Waves. West Coast Conference action for you late night from just off the beach here in Malibu. You know, it's a young team and they don't want to turn the ball over much, but they want to play with the pace that they dictate. Um, Yamada Yadini back tonight and the senior point guard who should play off the bench for Pepperdine is off balance in the lane and rattles in. A transfer from Nevada missed a three and Gonzaga looks to push. Jonathan Williams trying to give and go with Tilly. Poked back to Williams who ties the game. Lara last Saturday at the kennel. 101-52. Fifth time this year that Gonzaga scored at least 100 points. Still plenty of time to shoot. Here's Ross to the basket with a left hand. Got the roll. Game and it's Pepperdine by four. Inside there's the spike from Jacob Larson. You know, definitely wanted to get out there and play with the guys today, knowing that they was under man and they needed his leadership on that court. A lob to Jacob Larson, and he lays it in. Here is Udini. Off the dribble, the pull up, paint in by Trey. The floor seems extremely slippery down here on the Zag side. I don't know if that's by design. Killian Tilly from deep with the three. Four. Well, they may be playing the five with this team, although with the four right now, with Larson in the game, as there is Tilly again. More from Japan, Rui Hachimura. He was, literally, he was one of my favorite players in college basketball. I just love watching him play. You convinced me on him. You sold me on him. Perkins in and out. Larson the offensive rebound. A reach and foul on Johnny Smith of Pepperdine. 14 foul against the Waves. So the Zags on a 10-2 run. Lead it by four. Pepperdine trying to show a different look right now. The Waves are in the 2-3 zone. Perkins too strong, but there's Hachimura trying to clean it up. Opportunities, and now they're leading in the paint by two in the rebound. Silas Nelson missing the pull-up, and the weak side follows. And for Gonzaga. The rebounds at one point were 8-3 Pepperdine. It's now 11-8 Gonzaga. It's Hachimura and one. There's Perkins with 10 to shoot. Jonathan Williams, the tip in, Rui Hachimura. Here, there, you got to make them respect your presence out there on the perimeter. Turn around in the lane, Colby Ross for Pepperdine. And the rebound cleared by Ross for the Waves. They push. The drop off. Inside, 6.45 to go first half. Josh Perkins finds a lane to the basket. He shooted it better than 50% as a team. And they're also a terrific rebounding club as they're at plus 9.7 per game. Seventh in the country in rebound margin. Cooper makes it. Now they're playing with pace, moving the ball from side to side. Perkins probing, finding opportunities for guys. Open Here's shot for Tilly. Rattles in his third three of the first half. Dunn is playing with a lot of confidence. You know, he's seeing opportunities, whether it's on the perimeter or in the paint. He's taking his opportunities and trying to create. Jonathan Williams underneath. Count the basket, plus one, the foul. Williams going to work. Jonathan Williams with the left hand. Williams operating in the paint It's kind of tough to kind of assist and help defensively or dig because you're going to leave open shooters open. The pull up, not good. <laughs> consistent minutes here and there when things happen with Perkins, obviously, and he has to be ready when his number is called. Keith Stevens along. Keith Stevens feels he can be a big part of the foundation with this young group building for Pepperdine. Corey Kispert, speaking of freshmen, knocks in a three for Kispert knocked down the shot and looked at the whole Pepperdine bench after he made the shot, letting them know that this is what I do. Pull up from Eric Cooper Jr. Waves trying to hang in there with number 19, Gonzaga. The lob to Killian Tilly. In the half. They really can switch one through four on the perimeter. Five to shoot. 
Yee Stevens on the drive, knocked away by Kispert. Kispert has time. Kispert is fouled, count the basket, and one. From Park Hill, Colorado. And also with Colby Ross, the freshman for Pepperdine, is from Aurora, as scoop was Trey Burhow for Pepperdine. Killian Tilly driving the lane. Create a spark for Pepperdine. They got off to a good start tonight, but we're not able to sustain it, but also Gonzaga turned up the pressure. Darnell Dunn inside. Gonzaga Bulldogs who've won 15 straight road conference games and a 20-point lead here in Malibu tonight. Spotting up, Trey Burhau. They, they, they stay true to what they do, and they stay in formation. That's why they're tough to beat. Jonathan Williams and the other guy. So you know, they just reloaded, and they got guys that have been here, and they're just picking up where they left off, and they got out there to prove all the doubt is wrong. Corner three. Zaga shooting now at 50% from the field. They've assisted on 14 of their 20 buckets. Jonathan Williams will go to the line. Ooh, too strong on the three, but the rebound falls to Corey Kispert, and the Zags get a fresh shot clock. Tilly underneath. 18 now for Killian Tilly. For the Netherlands volleyball. His brother Kevin won back-to-back -back national titles at UC Irvine in volleyball. We're done. Norvell lines it up. And it's going all over for Gonzaga right now. A three. <laughs> Pepperdine looking for offense any way they can find it. Jacob Larson backing in. And Larson used his great start to the season for the Toreros, who are off to their best start as a Division I program this year. And their 2-0 and in league play is great. Now at the time, they're just playing exceptionally well. And I think a lot of people took that personal and, and looked at it as an opportunity. You know, Gonzaga may not be the favorite. Remember when Pepperdine was up four? <laughs> Seems so long ago. It was a long time ago. Cooper, another, <laughs> another offensive rebound. That's 10 offensive rebounds for Gonzaga tonight. Josh Perkins behind the screen. Knocks in a three. Here's Tilly inside. And a 20-point night now for Killy and Tilly. Two starters out in eight of their first 14 games this year. And it's two consecutive seasons. Last year they lost Fly. If you're a team that's going through it, no one's going to feel sorry for you, whether you're young, whether you're seasoned and older. You have to figure it out on the fly. The miss, Tilly clears, he pushes. And the roll for Killy and Tilly. Since about five minutes in, it's been all Gonzaga. The floater by and, and you know what? Just thinking about Pepperdine, you know, a young team, you're going to find out a lot about this team when you, you're not getting the wins in the win conference. That is not scored in the ballgame. Matthew Attaway steps out. The grad contributions from Hachimura in the first half as well as Tilly. And since then, they've taken this thing over. Freshman Ross, nice and good by Five minutes to go in this all Gonzaga in Malibu. Step back from Zach Norvell. Owns to tack, led by Tilly's 22 is Attaway with the ball. Now here's Cooper. And Cooper now with the, the balanced attack. It's so tough to defend when Gonzaga can come at you from so many different options. It's not all the ways. The runner banked in by Colby Ross. Jesse Wade from the corner of three. Rebound, Rui Hachimura elevates for it. 
had a really active first half, and now Hachimura gets the roll. And it matches the largest lead of the night for the Zags. Elijah Lee is in, a sophomore from Houston for Pepperdine. So is Kevin Hempy. As Knox Heller. The unselfish play, Hachimura. You know, a lot of time when you play with guys, you know, if you if you pass it and you never get it back and you don't get a touch again, that's when you start forcing it. It's a shot block. Final 30 seconds. He Stevens the pull up. And Gonzaga, their 34th consecutive win over Pepperdine. And also for Mark Hugh, that's 16 straight conference road victories.